Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episodes 8 and 9 of Call Me Sign Can't Communicate. So let's go ahead and get started with episode 8 in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, that's loud. Oh my god. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing her brother is also shy as well. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you two will get along. Yeah. Oh, following her like a lost puppy.
<laughs> oh, you're playing the game of life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A couple. No. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. I just want to know how did grandma know it was done? <laughs> And her favorites. Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Mm-hmm, a date.
I'm crying. Oh my god. Oh God, no! <laughs> oh. It's too much anxiety for me. I don't even know if I could do that. And also pressure, because, ooh, yeah, because, you know, a certain show. Yeah. No, I think she's having fun. I just, she just merely. This dog. And here comes everybody else. <laughs> Pull it. Yeah, and watch Comey just get it like it's <laughs> Of course this is a JoJo reference as well. <laughs> Hmm? 
Uh-huh. What the? Oh, God. Why don't you just tell him how you feel? Do you feel like he'll reject you? Go on. Jeez. <laughs> she just knows. Oh my god, bitch crazy. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Of course. Just go home, oh my God. How the year went by so fucking quickly.
baby. get that I mean how it's like you know when, when it was last year <laughs> and it felt like the year wasn't gonna end because it was so bad and then we get into this year and you know how you want a really slow pace year this year went by fast and it's only the seventh and we're not even halfway through this month but it just feels like the whole year went by too fucking quickly and now we about to be in 2022 and so many things are probably going to be like happening for not only maybe me and everyone and you and everyone else in the world, but I think a lot of good things will happen. And I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put it, put that positive energy right there. A lot of good things are going to happen for us. But yeah, I, I, I get it. I really understand how she feels, especially when it's a summer vacation, whether you are busy, um, working either hanging out with friends or doing everything else in between multitasking some people who go to summer school for college and everything or just doing a couple of classes or stuff it goes by extremely quickly because when you are on a routine and such it's done so fucking quickly and it's like i feel like next year a lot of things for me are gonna happen and i'm just gonna be very multitasking between this a job and possibly going to school and Next thing you know, it's going to be the end of the year. And I'm going to be like, bro, where did the year go by? It went by too fucking fast. <laughs> but oh my god, the fact is that she, you know, even wrote in the dirt that she liked spending time alone with Donald. Like, oh my god, that was so fucking precious. But by the time that he was trying to see it, she literally was like, nope, nope, nope. You're not going to look at anything. Nope, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, 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 no. No, you'll never know. But something tells me, because we are getting closer and closer to the end of this show, I, I'm despite, I'm guessing, like, Netflix Japan is probably on episode 10 or 11, and I'm about to watch episode 9 in a minute. Um, do I think she's going to confess to him by the end of this? Possibly not. I'm guessing if we get, like, a season 2 for this show, I could see her confessing. But then it's also, like, because the biggest thing I'm thinking about, um is how long is this show or really not the show how long is the manga and has she officially confessed to him in the manga and are they officially dating in the manga and such and it makes you wonder how long is it gonna go and everything because as much as i like this because like the one thing like i said i think i said this in episode one it does give me my like he told he bushy vibes and everything because i love it so much because i think a lot of people knew how much i loved the shit out of he told he when that was on and how it was just a girl like trying to have friends and be able to communicate the same way and it's like that except it's more you know you you get like things where you're like damn i relate to this girl so fucking much but then there's that one other show that came out like I want to say about five or six years ago, that is very much like this in Hitori Boshi, 
Um, and it's the only one I haven't seen because I got introduced to this. Well, he told me about she in this first, and then like I, I knew a little bit of that other show, but I never really sat down and watched it. I just don't remember the fucking name of it. I know it's with a girl who has like black hair. It's messy. She has like a part um, down on her eye and such, and only one of her eyes is showing and it's like that. But yeah, I'm, maybe one day I'll watch it. I don't know when, but one day, <laughs> if I ever truly have the time. But go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode nine. Okay, episode nine in three, two, one, go. Mm. I, I know that feeling. <laughs> We're like, God, we gotta go back. <laughs> we gotta go back to hell. We gotta go back to jail. Jail! Oh, you're like, what's her face from, um, <laughs> as if I could dial. <laughs> Except she didn't hide that she, did she hide that she was a country pumpkin? <laughs> it's been, oh God, it's been years since I watched Ajima Dio. Ajima Dio. Oh God, maybe I should rewatch that. Like, cause, oh God. I mean, cause I ended up watching that dub first and then I think like a year or two later I was like, you know, let me watch a sub. <laughs> uh, I, I kind of wish that show had a revival. There, there's a lot of animes that I really wish got like a new like paint coat. I mean, fairy, a uh, fairy, fairy tale, wrong show. Fruits Basket got it. Tokyo Mew you getting it next year. So I'm like, here's other ones who I want to see with a nice new fresh painted coat looking good on the HD quality. But who knows if that's ever going to happen. <laughs> Is it because you got big behind thighs? I mean, hey, I get that. <laughs> Poor baby. Jesus. I know. Honestly, I want a sandwich. It sounds good. They 
did not use. <laughs> Stop it, please. Uh-oh. <laughs> she just scared. Take two. You don't want to be a stalker for going me to sleep. I don't know, like, what the fuck? Oh? <laughs> See, okay, my thing is, if you want something, write it, write it down and be like, hey, this is what I want on it. Go on. Oh. <laughs> it's got to be a pretty cure, right? So cute. Aww. So y'all not gonna do anything? <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Ah, uh, <coughs> my throat. <laughs> I'm guessing the horse girls right there is supposed to be pretty derby. emergency phone call. She trying though, she trying. She looks so cute. What if people don't want the tissues, though? Oh, 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 
Oh, baby. For her, I buy all the damn tissues. I take them all. <laughs> no! No. No! You got this. Movie. There you go. <laughs> There's old tissue. Shut up. <laughs> Write it down. <laughs> Tell him. Just tell him. Does everybody have something on their face this week? Okay, she's just dreaming. <laughs> oh, cause whoa! Hey!
Oh. Come on. <laughs> yeah, you can. No. See, like that. <laughs> oh God. Yes. You've known each other for nine episodes. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Yeah, unfortunately. No, oh, babe. Okay, so our little cute country bumpkin, she's adorable. I, I hope we get to see a little bit more with her, but I'm guessing because we are, like, a couple of weeks away from the show being over. Um, who knows if we'll have time to see her again. I'm, I'm guessing probably not. Then you have any other situations that they probably want to add to, you know, conclude season one. But to seeing her in this first episode for her first appearance... <laughs> Honestly, once again, both of them made me want to have a sandwich and stuff, but I, I don't know. Am I going to go out and get a damn sandwich? I don't really feel like doing that. That's too much work. <laughs> uh, but I am hungry. I haven't eaten at all today. But it was sweet. <laughs> they were going to have a chance. I don't know how to set me see. <laughs> <laughs> I had a sesame seed, and then everybody has sesame seeds on <laughs> The next day, he had a sesame seed on him. Oh, but it was, he was so close to calling Komi Shoko. I, I think if he, if he does it, I can't, that will be the end of the first season. He'll finally, finally call her by her, her first name and just be like, oh. And then I'm be over here like, yeah, you did that. Like, oh, God, it was just so sweet. I can't, but... Oh, excuse me. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Um, I, I'm honestly ready to see these two call each other by their first names. And it, it's going to take some time. I knew there was no way in hell that these two were going to be able to say both of their names to each other. Because come on now. But either by the end of this first season or maybe if they get a second season. Yeah. I mean, this is the, like what I would say about this show. It's very much a slow burn, slow pace type of show where it takes its time in the relationships and everything because you know comparing this to like because oh god what, what is the last scripted show that i've watched 
the Gossip Girl reboot. I think that's the only thing. Because, like, because see, this is me. Like, there's really nothing good on TV anymore and such. And so now I watch way too much anime and, and everything. All I really now watch on TV is just reality TV shows. Because the reality TV shows are maybe one or two scripted shows. Because, like I said, there really is nothing good. And so I, I love having a slow pace, like, relationship between a guy and a girl and they can be friends for like a, a little while instead of being like okay episode one y'all met episode two y'all friends episode three y'all hooking up now and we're and by episode four we're officially dating you're like what what is that we're all over the place with that and that's why i don't really like a lot of like shows anymore because i'm like bruh i'm i don't want that like <laughs> get the fuck out <laughs> it's like no but yeah i'm really hoping that they call each other by the first names at the end of the season i mean it would be a nice way to you know conclude season one and possibly a maybe season two if they really wanted to but i think i don't know i mean does the show deserve a season two absolutely i think any show that comes and gets a a, a first season adaptation you know should be able to get a second season but you know there's so many things that of course I don't know, and probably a lot of people don't know about how a show can get a second season versus here in America. It's just about how many, how many times people are, you know, tuning in every single freaking week. And then they tally that up. And then next thing you know, when it's like, mmm. January, February, March, April, May, June? May or June, probably. That's when, you know, the big, you know, the big higher up companies are like, okay, what are we canceling and what are we continuing on for another season? And then you're, you're sitting here waiting every single week and wondering if your favorite show is going to get renewed or canceled. And then when you find out your favorite show got canceled, you're like, what is life anymore? We got to move on now and it sucks. It really, truly does. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episodes 8 and 9 of Komi-san. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys either sometime this week or sometime next week for episode 10. Bye, guys.